Extrusion-based 3D bioprinting utilizes mechanical force or air pressure, a syringe, a needle, and of course a bioink to 3D print constructs and tissues out of proteins and living cells. Collagen, being the most abundant protein in the body, is the perfect material for recreating an in vivo environment with bioprinting, but has been historically difficult to print due to its viscosity, temperature requirements, and gelation properties. Collagen has previously been mixed with fillers or additional crosslinkers in an attempt to make it printable on extrusion-based systems. Lithink Bioinks from Advanced Biomatrix are the world's first pure collagen bioinks for extrusion-based bioprinting that overcome these hurdles. Lithink Bioinks allow for printing complex structures and tissues at resolutions and scales never before printed with pure collagen. Lithink comes in two configurations, pH neutral or pH acidic, and two concentrations, 35 and 70 milligrams per milliliter. Lithink 200 and 220, both neutral, are collagen pastes. Cells can be added directly into the bioink and immediately 3D bioprinted with up to a 30 gauge needle. Once printed, the cells will restructure the collagen paste over time, crosslinking it. Lifing 240 and 260 are the acidic varieties, which allow for a much higher resolution printing with a 34 gauge needle, but must be printed without cells. Lifing, especially the acidic formulation, is best printed using the FRESH method. FRESH stands for Freeform Reversible Embedding of Suspended Hydrogels. Life Support is an off-the-shelf product for fresh printing. It contains gelatin microparticles which, when rehydrated, forms a shear thinning slurry. Life Ink is printed directly into this slurry, which traps the bioink and cells in place as you print. This allows taller, thinner structures to be created. When printing with the acidic Life Ink, the buffered solution serves to neutralize the ink immediately upon printing. After printing, the slurry and construct can be incubated at 37 degrees Celsius. The gelatin slurry will liquefy and the collagen will crosslink. The final collagen structure will be released from the bath and the melted gelatin can be replaced with cells and culture media for downstream studies. Over time, the cells will remodel the collagen and turn your printed construct into living tissue. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University have done a fantastic job printing with life ink, including an ear scaffold, spinal disc, esophagus, and some complex surface models. Additionally, a full-size 3D printed heart scaffold and valve model was printed as well. Our goal at Advanced Biomatrix is to help all researchers replicate in vivo conditions, and life ink collagen bioinks allow you to print with native materials. To get started, email support at advancedbiomatrix.com or visit our website, www.advancedbiomatrix.com.